how to update your firmware. You can see we are connected to the Maslow via the maslow.local interface on the web. Click on Fluid NC up top and then the orange upload button in the middle. This will allow you to update the firmware. Select a file. You can see in my downloads, when I downloaded the firmware version, it added this number to the end. That's not good. So what I'm going to do is add a separate file where I can add all of this version's uh, firmware documents. And that will allow me to click in and change the names back to the original version. The reason for this is the software needs to recognize these files, so the names have to stay accurate. And we can't have these download numbers being in the names here. As you can see, I've downloaded the firmware as well as the index and the maslow.yaml file. Um, the index and YAML um, can also be updated when you update the firmware. Um, just make sure they all retain their original name. So go ahead and navigate to that folder you just made with the current firmware version and upload that document, hit update, confirm that you want to update, and now it will load. It'll take a minute for this to complete. And once the firmware has been updated, the machine will restart and you'll be sent back to the home screen. And here we are, reconnecting. Now I'm going to show you how to update the index as well. Click on Manage Local Files. There's our index and YAML. You can delete the index and then click Upload Files, navigate to that folder, and upload the index. I'm not going to show you the YAML because that contains our calibration information, but it works the same way. And then you can hit Close. Now, there's an interesting thing that happens if you accidentally delete the index, and I will show you how that goes. Once you delete it, you can hit close and then hit refresh. The machine won't be able to show you that Maslow interface, and it'll give you a message that the index is missing. Go to upload and re-upload that file. That's all you need to do. And it should take you back to the Maslow specific interface if you hit the ESP button. And there we are, back to normal.